Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who haven't been here before, my name is Lori Hill and I make videos about plastic surgery and cosmetic procedures. My goal is to show you that beauty is attainable. It's also to lift the veil of secrecy that surrounds plastic surgery because everyone deserves to feel beautiful. If you want to know more about cosmetic procedures or plastic surgery, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram where I post before and afters of celebrities and TikTok where I post video clips of my latest videos. And I'm also on Clubhouse as Lori Hill. In today's video, I'll be updating you on Kendall Jenner's possible plastic surgery procedures. This is the first in a long line of videos I plan to do of updates of other celebrities that I've analyzed. Make sure to subscribe to this channel because you don't want to miss the updates I have coming on people like Madison Beer, Kylie Jenner, and others. For today's video, I decided that I would update both Kendall Jenner's face and body without my zooming into photos or videos. Since YouTube demonetizes me, if I zoom in too close to any celebrity's body, any female celebrity's body, and no, I don't know why, but I just have to comply with their rules. If you do want the uncensored version of my Kendall Jenner video, make sure to visit my Patreon, where you'll find a whole archive of other celebrities' plastic surgery analysis, people like Beyonce, Kylie Jenner, and most recently, Taylor Swift. I've put the link down below to my Patreon. So I think it's time to do an update of Kendall Jenner's plastic surgery. This video will go over possible plastic surgery procedures that Kendall may have had since my last analysis of her. If you haven't seen my plastic surgery analysis of Kendall Jenner, then make sure to stay till the end of this video and the next video that follows will be Kendall's plastic surgery analysis. Now this update will go over Kendall's face and a general overview of her body. Now remember guys, this is my opinion only and I don't have any actual proof that Kendall Jenner had the procedures that we talk about today. Now because of quarantine, celebrities are covered up more than usual, so it's extremely hard to see changes that they may have made to their faces. Let's talk about Kendall Jenner's face. Now I really want to emphasize that this look that Kendall has to her eyes and her eyebrows was not accomplished through a thread lift, regardless of any advertisements or claims that you see out there. Kendall's eyebrows started out pretty low, and to raise them to this height, you have to do more than a thread lift. This is the result of an endoscopic brow lift. This is where the surgeon makes an incision in the patient's hairline and raises their eyebrows up from that incision. The scars are completely hidden within the hairline. And this is not an anti-aging procedure. It can be done as a beautifying procedure. People both young and old are candidates for an endoscopic brow lift. I've been asked many times about my opinion on thread lifts, and you guys have even wanted me to do videos about thread lifts. I've never had a thread lift personally, and I've never wanted to have it done. And I personally don't like them. My research tells me that they're painful. Your face is in pain after getting it done for quite a few days. Your face also feels stiff and like you just can't move it very much, and it's hard to talk. They're also expensive. They're thousands of dollars. And the worst probably of all of these things is it's temporary. So you're paying thousands of dollars for something that may only last three to six months before you have to get it redone. So in my opinion, it's better to just save your money and see a reputable plastic surgeon for an actual endoscopic lift. Now, as far as the shape of her eyes and the size of her eyes, do you notice that they've changed? I think very recently, Kendall has had a lateral canthoplasty. In a lateral canthoplasty, skin is removed from the corners of the eyes. It can make your eyes look longer and even larger. It also can angle up the eye corners into a cat eye look. Another name for a lateral canthoplasty is 
the cat eye surgery or almond eye surgery. Two photos of Kendall a few years apart to show the difference. Watch her eye corners and her lower lid as I move the transparency. Now watch again in quick mode, before, after, before, after. And I think this procedure made her eyes look larger and longer. In my opinion, her eyes are starting to look a lot like Kim Kardashian's eyes. I see a huge resemblance in both their eye shape and size and angulation, actually. Apart from the lateral canthoplasty, I really don't see any other changes to Kendall's face. She has continued with a bit of lip filler, and I believe that's all. Now let's go down to Kendall's body. So Kendall went under fire recently because of this photo showing her photoshopped into plastic Barbie doll perfection. But then a video came out of the same photo shoot showing that Kendall's body didn't really look the way that this photo represented it looking. So a lot of people have accused Kendall of photoshopping this photo. Because people are now able to not only alter photos, but also to alter videos, I've decided to use Kendall's old runway videos and stills from her runway, as well as event arrival videos and photos for this analysis. And these videos were not taken from sources that are the Kardashian Jenners or are affiliated with them. And I've cross checked these videos with other videos from the same runway show to make sure that she looks the same in all the videos. So I think we're gonna get a pretty accurate representation of what Kendall's body looks like in real life. And while I can't say for sure what is real and what was photoshopped in this photo and this video, I can give you a rundown of Kendall's possible body modifications throughout the years. I won't be using as many photos as I usually do, so as to minimize the amount of variations of Kendall's figure as we've already talked about, I'd rather use a few accurate photos and videos than to use tons and tons of photos from different unreliable sources and have those photos be inaccurate, thus making the whole analysis inaccurate. So this is Kendall at around 19 or 20 years old on the runway. Kendall starts out with a small non-protruding chest and what could best be described as a straight figure with her waist and hip measurements being almost equal to one another. There's not a huge difference between her waist and her hips. We do see a small curve but nothing like her future curvy hourglass figure. Now here we are about five years later with a different look to Kendall's chest, waist, hips, and backside. Let's start with the changes to her chest. And her chest looks about two cup sizes larger than what she previously had. And she's gone up these cup sizes without gaining additional weight in her upper body at all. In fact, Kendall is now thinner than ever. Although her chest looks larger, I can't say it's because of augmentation or just natural growth. Her chest does not appear to have the typical look of chest implants. Throughout the years, Kendall's chest has gone up and down in size, causing people to speculate that she's had augmentation. I wouldn't put it past the Car Jenners to have been offered some kind of new filler that no one's heard of for the chest area. But until we know of that filler, I'm going to say that she's natural. Do keep in mind that she may have had chest implants at one point in the past and had them removed. September 2014, Kendall walks down the runway during Fashion Week. Afterwards, there was talk of her being too fat for the runway. 
and she was reportedly told to lose 17 pounds. Here we see her in the Victoria's Secret fashion show in 2015, just one year later, where she looks a lot thinner. But more than just thinner, she looks carved out. I see much smaller and shapelier thighs and a thigh gap where there wasn't one before and an extremely small waist. And her backside, which I can't show you here, has become very perky and round. I think that Kendall lost a lot of the weight, but she also had liposuction, in my opinion, to carve out that perfect figure as weight loss only really results in a smaller body, not in completely differently shaped thighs, flanks, and tummy. When liposuction is done on someone, even a thin person, a good surgeon will target more than one area so that the whole body looks in harmony. So I think she had liposuction done to her flanks, inner and outer thighs, and stomach. The flank area is basically what's known as the waist. When you get liposuction to this area, it makes your waist measurement smaller. And although liposuction has a reputation of being a plastic surgery procedure for people who are on the heavier side, it's actually not really meant for that purpose. It's actually perfect for the thin person who has small pockets of fat that they just can't get rid of. We see her here on the Victoria's Secret runway in 2016 through 2018, and this body is now her new baseline. Now we need to address the change in Kendall's butt. In 2017, Kendall arrived at the Met Gala and caused a stir with her perky butt. And it was so interesting because she's completely skinny on top. She's completely skinny in her legs. People were really asking her if she'd gotten something done to her butt. I mean, there was major speculation. It wasn't just insinuations. I think people were actually, people were actually accusing her of getting butt filler or butt implants. And this time, I think the public was right. I think that Kendall either had a Sculptra butt lift or butt implants or both. And Sculptra is a filler that can be used on the face, but it can also be used as a body filler. And Sculptra is also known to enhance the look of your skin, which is really interesting. Now, the Kardashians filler doctor, Dr. Orion, was actually on the doctor's television show where he injected a model with Sculptra on live television, yeah, in her backside. Now you may be wondering, why didn't Kendall just get a BBL or why don't I think that she got a BBL? Well, to have a BBL, you need to have between five to 10 pounds of fat. Now, if you don't have that fat to donate to your backside, then usually the surgeon will ask you to gain an additional five to 10 pounds. Now, Kendall really can't afford to gain that much weight and still keep her modeling career. But just to make sure, I did go through photos of her to see if there was ever a time where she'd ever gained weight, and I really didn't see any difference in her weight. So I don't think that Kendall would be a good candidate for a BBL. Now, as far as we can see here in this Skims video, I don't see much of a change to Kendall's body from how it looked in 2019. I think that in some of the poses, her hips look wider, but I think it's the posing rather than her having anything injected into her hips, as it's really not advantageous for models to have large hips when they're not plus size models. I do think that in this photo, she's used an app to lengthen her legs as they look uncharacteristically long. In any case, I truly hope that none of you have felt bad about yourselves after seeing this photo. And if you did, I hope that my analysis and rundown of all the things Kendall had to go through in order to look like this has helped you. So now we're gonna total up Kendall's recent procedures Remember that all prices are not regular people prices, they are celebrity prices. Lateral cantholplasty, 20,000. Lip filler, 
2,500. Liposuction to multiple areas, 35,000. Glute implants, 20,000. Sculptra filler, 20,000. Total cost, $97,500. Now, to my knowledge, Kendall has not directly addressed any of the plastic surgery accusations or rumors, but she did have this exchange with a fan after this photo came out where the fan said that all of their problems would be solved if they just looked like Kendall Jenner. And she said, I am an extremely lucky girl, appreciative of all that I have, but I want you to know I have bad days too and that I hear you. You are beautiful just the way you are. It's not always as perfect as it may seem. That quote can be taken so many different ways, but part of me wants to believe that she's trying to psychically communicate to us that she wants to tell us that she had work done, but she can't. I don't know, am I just being super idealistic? The other part of me thinks that maybe she didn't even write this answer, but I hope she did. And I do hope that she was trying to communicate that she's not as perfect as she seems and that she does Photoshop and that she has had work. Let me know what you guys think she meant by that quote. Also let me know what you think of Kendall Jenner's transformation. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>